Hello explorers and welcome to the first official episode of Tour de Nam. Yeah, if you missed the introduction to this series and what you can expect, there will be a pop-up banner on the top right hand of your screen. Yeah, so we left Pretoria at 4 o'clock this morning. It's now just after 1. We are about an hour's drive from our accommodation. So what you can expect in this episode, we're going to show you our accommodation just outside of the Grabis. And then tomorrow morning we're going to go into the Grabis and look at the waterfalls. I know there might not be a lot of water this time of the year, but it's a place we have never been to, so it will be definitely worth visiting for us. And then at the end of this episode, we'll show you how to cross the border and everything you need to do that. So stay tuned. Yeah. So our first accommodation on this road trip is the Quiver Tree Guest House. It's 20 kilometers from Agrabis, so let's show you this beautiful place. First, you'll get a braai, but come and check the inside. You don't need anything extra from a microwave, fridge, cutlery, coffee and tea, and then a nice big bathroom. Check out the link in the description. This is so worth booking. I think the best part of this guest house is when you wake up, make yourself a cup of coffee and check this. Can wake up like this every morning. This accommodation really looks amazing. It's very well thought out. Yeah, since we arrived a lot earlier than we anticipated, we're gonna go do Khrabis now and then we can have a nice relaxed morning tomorrow morning before we eat the border. So let's teleport there. Welcome to Khrabis National Park. I must say, I'm definitely in awe of the amount of water flowing down here. I didn't expect it to be this massive. Just look at that. Now the damage from the flooding earlier this year is still very evident here. You can see in the background some of the bridges are washed away. At least most of the walkways on the other side are still open. We're going to go down to the other viewing decks and see what the view is of the waterfall from there. Yeah, we just visited uh, the last deck here. The only unfortunate thing is because of all the flooding, the, the deck you can see there behind me, you can't get to. And the one closest to the waterfall, you can't get to either. The only annoying thing about that is the walkways are closed but there's no signs to really tell you where you can go and which ones are open and it didn't tell us by reception as well. So just keep that in mind until the repairs are done. There's only two decks you can go to but yeah I think it's still worth a visit. The entrance was only for South African citizens was only 63 rand so definitely worth a visit otherwise wait until you know the repairs are done or when it's in flooding I think it will be way more spectacular then. So, Akhrabis National Park also offers accommodation and the park times for day visitors is 7 o'clock in the morning until 6 o'clock in the evenings but you have to enter before 5 o'clock if you want to stay until 6 o'clock. just found another open deck so there is actually three open but like I said the frustrating thing is there's no signage or no one to tell you which ones are open and which ones aren't 
But yeah, it's definitely still worth a visit. The falls are absolutely amazing and the sound, the rumbling it makes is crazy. And all these rocks here, everywhere around you. That is definitely something to come and witness yourself. So put this on your bucket list if you haven't. If you decide to stay over in Ukrobis National Park, there's a restaurant on site and a shop that sells the basics you might need, like firewood, some meat and some cool drinks. Good morning. We had a good night's sleep. This place is really awesome. The beds are comfortable. It's definitely worth a visit if you are coming to this side of the country. The only annoying thing is those hardy dogs there in the trees. But other than that, this place is very, very nice. So we're going to jump in the buckets now and go to the border so we can show you how to cross it. the documentation we prepared to cross the border from South Africa into Namibia, yes, we w went above and beyond and prepared everything for in case. So we took certified copies of our passports, IDs and driver's license. We printed our vaccine certificates just for in case and then you need a copy of the notice. But if your vehicle is still under financing, you need to ask them for a cross-border letter. Also, we um, included a letter from our insurance um, company to say we may take the vehicle across the border. We hope this helps you and enjoy your trip. When you enter the first boom gate at Fields River Border Post, you will receive the slip shown on screen. Remember to bring your own pen as you need to complete this form with your vehicle details. All the travelers they need to go through door one to get their passports and the slip stamped. Then the driver needs to take all the passengers passports and enter door three where you need to complete the form and show all the passports for police clearance. You then drive to the checkpoint where they scan the driver's license and the vehicle license. Then you proceed to the last boom where you need to hand in a small slip with all the stamps. Welcome to no man's land! At North Uber Border Post you need to take your pen and go through door 1. There you will find a tray with a paper shown on screen you need to complete before they can stamp your passport. The driver then needs to enter door 2 with passport and vehicle documents in hand to complete the road fund administration form and pay the 371 rand or Namibian dollars in cash only. The green slip you receive has to be kept safe as you need to hand it in again when you exit Namibia. All travelers need to get back in a vehicle to drive to the vehicle inspection section on the right hand side in front of the blue building. This is where they check the vehicle for any prohibited items, you can see the list on screen. If you have anything to declare, this is the place to do it. We then continue to the border exit gate where they ask us again if we have anything to declare. Explorers, welcome to Namibia! 
so we passed the border from South Africa into Namibia at the Fjordstrif and Noordover border. According to all the blogs and videos we uh, watched, it can be quite difficult and confusing. We hope this video helps you with your trip crossing the Namibian border and the board behind me might give you an idea where we are going to stay. So we'll see you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Thank you for joining us in this episode. Bye. Bye.